Welcome back, scholars, to Skyrim! Today we are going to be doing scroll scouting again for the Dragon Scroll after we found the Blood Scroll in the Soul Cairn. So, hey, Mr. Librarian, I don't dude. I to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Right. I am looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? I'm going to draw pretty pictures on it. I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Well, I'm already insane, so it works out. Mmm... Let's see. A price for what? The simplest way to put it is knowledge. But there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader <laughs> sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods. But especially the falsehoods. Is it just me or does this guy sound like Jet from Cowboy Bebop? He he totally does. I wonder if it's the same guy. Anyway. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the scrolls exist here with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls. You usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Right, so do you have one? Uh, you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. But you don't, do you? Hmm. Okay, well, I was told you could help. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Well, okay. Should I just leave the conversation? All right, then. Yeah, okay. Don't mind me, I'm just going to hop up on your desk now. It's not a big deal. But he's going to go to his personal collection. Drop him off right go. next to me. Try not to spill anything on. Don't you spill? Wait, wait. Okay, so we'll read both of these, I suppose. Started discerning the transmundane. Ask a rag about the insane book. Okay. How long is this before I start reading? Uh, I yeah, it's a little too long. I don't really feel like reading this. So, as always, if you want to read, I'll just read in my head. <laughs> the acorn is a kind of tree egg. Awesome. I like that. It's a fun phrase. Tree egg. Okay. Hmm. That was kind of weird. What about this one? What do you say? Effects of the Elder Scrolls? Once again, pause if you would like to read. Hmm, okay. Astronomy, that's fun. <laughs> Some might be able to read. Some will have their mind broken. Mind break. Medium. Okay. Illuminated understanding. Oh, so it's just like different levels of understanding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. 
So something about moth priests and minds breaking. I don't want to see you treating any of these books. Shut up. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. The it's Ruminations book is incomprehensible. The one that does all the metaphors and shit. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. I think I know which one this guy is. Somewhere up north. Yeah. In the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact. But, well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since. This is actually a dude that you need to see during the main story, so I guess we'll be able to get that out of the way for later. Let's go find Septimus Sickness. Wait, I go the right way. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, I should probably ask you people. Or actually, does it have a a marker? Let's see. Yeah, I like how there's a marker, even though apparently he's been missing for like I think the however many years. Which is weird. And that girl says that every time. Oh. <coughs> Alright, and then one more loading screen for here. Sweet, so. Oh, right. Blood. Ah, shit. Well, I did feed on someone out here. I, f I think I fed on you last time, didn't I? Welcome yeah, I think I did. Let me, let me feed on you again, because you were so tasty. Let me do it. Feed. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Delicious blood soda. And she doesn't care. Um, I don't really care. I'll talk to you later. For now, I figured since we weren't doing anything, I want to do... Show you something. Oh, right. Don't sprint because it drains your stamina. Forgot. I want to show you something. It's a new mod that I put in. If you remember, we held the bow... Look at the animation right now with our, with our bow. It's not a big difference, but you can see... Instead of holding the bow down, we hold it kind of forward with one hand out. And uh, if we crouch, we actually kind of hold it a little bit the same way. Hey, do you have anything to pickpocket? I want to pickpocket something. Nope. I want to pickpocket. You got nothing. What about you, Drevis? Stick tuning gloves, 31%. No, no spank you. Okay, so, and the sprinting animation as well is really cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So this is actually a mod that I installed to change the animations, and it is called New Animations for Elegant Archers by 3 Eucalypto, I suppose. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just like a nice little, nice little touch of, uh, of classiness. The video I watched showing it off, the showcase, kind of referenced Legolas from, or Legolas, I don't know how you actually pronounce his name, because I'm not really... I'm not really a Lord of the Rings fan, personally, but well, I just haven't seen them really. But um, <laughs> this might be. I'm gonna try jumping. But he compared the animations. Ah. Nope. Okay, I, th I was hoping that would be a little deeper, but it was worth a shot. I quick saved right before I did it, so it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Um, now, problem is, how are we gonna get down though? That's the problem. I suppose we could kind of. Hop down over there. But yeah, that's what they uh That's what they compared these animations to, and I can I would imagine he was fairly spot on with that comparison. I mean Elves are graceful, and I'm an elf in this game too. I'm an elf. Elves are pretty cool people. I probably should have summoned Arvac. I wanna see if I can summon Arvac. That would be slightly useful in the human world here. Let's see. Can I? No. Wait. Oh, I can! Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's useful if I don't have Mary with me. Like I said, I do prefer Mary, but... You know, I'll take whatever horse I can get at the given moment. So I have two horses at my ready. I wish I had some kind of Mary call, though. Like, Mary... Like in, like in Twilight Princess, you have that horse whistle. I had something kind of like that. Okay. So I probably won't make this one too long either because I have to do stuff. There's actually someone coming over to my house in a few days. I have to clean up a little bit. I also have... I, th I think I have a test. I don't know. 
We got school shit too. Thankfully, no work today. That's nice. But, um, yeah, so this, this will probably be like 25, 30 minutes. Which for me is a short video in this series. And, yep, you are going to have to go far enough north to pass over these kind of broken ice areas. The ice fields, I guess they're called. They do require you to go this far. I'm going to kill these walruses because I feel like it. I also want to show you the shooting animations and stuff. Oh. Okay, so you can see we hold the bow a little more sideways now. It's tilted. Oh shit, it's kind of... Anyway, does it look any different when we're... Yeah, it looks slightly different when we're in first person. You can see it's... You know, it is more tilted. Okay. But I mean, it's not, it's not a, a giant difference either. It's just kind of a minor... Minor thing, really. Anyway, I just did that to get some archery points because I need damn archery points, and I also need my arrows. This one's stuck right in his butt. Okay. Steel arrows, sweet. So, this dude's house is actually right in there, so we don't really need to even summon Arvec again. This dude is kind of weird. He, uh, he lives in this glacier here. It's a little strange, but. To each his own. So, let's go in. All right, now are we? Yeah, we're going through here. Sweet. And there he is. You were surprisingly. You know, I don't get how we had a marker for someone that's been lost for you know like 50 years or 20 or 30 years or whatever. But whatever. Hey, bro. In the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your death. Yeah, he's a little crazy. When the top but I won't hold him against built, him. Uh, no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. I heard you like Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I <laughs> can go to it. Not poor Septimus, Ooh, for okay. I, I have a reason beyond... What are you doing there, Serana? Getting hungry? <laughs> okay. Uh, you, where, you know, where's the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mundus, Tamrio, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> Spiritualist <laughs> asshole. Scale. Well, it's all nearby. Can you help me get it or not? One block lifts the other. Are you serious? Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. Asshole. I don't want to help you. I just want help for myself for no cost. <laughs> you see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowing. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yeah, shit. lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dremor City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Didn't realize we we're going to have to do this right now. The reason I'm saying oh shit is because that's a slightly long area or excuse me slightly long area and there's a puzzle at the end of it which I don't know how the hell I figured it out the first time so ooh, that'll be a little tricky but we'll see what we can do under deep below the dark the hippie keep tower mzark of pan the point of puncture of first entry of the tapping delve oh. to its limits and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Yeah, what's that? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft. 
and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon or inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find the Zark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Right. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves ahead. Right, I'm not going to be doing that entire dungeon in this one video. I'll tell you that right now, because it's super long. But we'll start. We'll go about halfway through, I suppose. That's fine, though. It'll give me time to actually figure out how to do that puzzle that I didn't like last time, because it took me forever. But uh, apparently it's right in there. We don't really have any close waypoints, do we? Not really. I suppose we could... Well, is that the closest one? You know, I feel, I feel like... Dawnstar may actually be slightly closer. I'll tell you what, though. This, uh... You desperately hold on to the warmth of your last victim's blood. That's what the little subtext said. That's weird. I'm going to go pickpocket some people because I can and I want to level up and stuff and it's funny lol. What I was going to say is we have been to a Dwemer ruin before but it's a little different than the one we're about to be going to and god damn why are you so hard to steal from. It's a little different from the one we're about to go to. Reason being this one has sort of a, a separate area underneath that uh, makes it slightly different. Let me quick save after every steal I make here. Never nope. Got caught. Okay. That's why I freaking... What say you, your that's defense? why I quick save and stuff. So if I get caught, I can just do this. Okay. Pickpocket. What else? What's the highest? The gold is the highest. Okay. Probably didn't get much experience for that. Pickpocket just takes ages to level up after a while. And I'm not even very far into it either. Now where the hell's Miri? I don't see Miri. I was sure there was a way to summon Miri. I was not sure where he's gone because the last few times I've fast traveled he hasn't been here. It's weird. Hey, can I ride you? Lol. Okay. Let me just take out Arvac then. I'll need to look up what the hell's happening with Miri. Maybe I could mod in some kind of Miri summoning spell or something. But I stole two things, two very, very minor things. A piece of gold and whatever the first thing was that I stole was it arrows, I think. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to what it was I stole. I just, you know, every once in a while you need to, you need to pickpocket a few things so that you can steadily raise the skill. Because otherwise you'll just be trying for days. You'll be stealing for days. And once you start the Thieves Guild stuff, you actually need kind of a, not really a high level to start, but you need at least a, a decent chance to start. Otherwise, the first quest is a little annoying and dependent on quick saves and stuff. But we'll get to that after we do the, the Dawn Guard quests. Because the Thieves Guild is what I plan on doing after this. Because it's a pretty fun side quest and you get a cool bow from it. The hell's going oh it's a or that was something else whoa look at that that's kind of steep there I definitely feel like this horse is slower which once again makes sense because it's bones I don't know how you're moving but the, ooh, you know what that tower over here is going to be quite important oh well, it's got a really good reward in it so let's go discover it right now so I can fast travel later <coughs> I believe that's what this tower is at least. Let me see. Frost flow. Oh. You know, I'm not... Hmm. I am not actually sure. Maybe this is a different place than I was thinking. We'll see you later. We'll deal with that later. Actually, I'll probably do that after Dawn Yard and then Thieves Guild. Because that is... Well, <laughs> the reward you get from that... Or not, I guess not from that lighthouse. But from a place I'm thinking of. Makes enchanting a lot... 
better and easier. And there's a saber tooth over there. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Ow. No, you attacked him and not me. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care if he dies. I mean, he, he always does. Shit, you kind of hit hard, don't you? Well, let's, uh, let's shout at you, yeah? Oh, sh Ooh, wow. You you hit slightly hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal a little bit. I don't have any uh, I do, barely. Wow. That's, uh, that could be better, definitely. Okay. God, you kind of suck, bro. You don't suck, obviously. You're quite strong. Okay. Oh, right, Serana, I forgot about you. Okay, this, hmm. Maybe this was a bad idea. Uh, okay, that's helpful. Let me get some magic up back as well so I can just fast heal while... Oh, Serana took the aggro off. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize these things were that strong. Did not realize. But he's dead. Thanks, Serana. I appreciate that. After I use all my stupid potions and stuff on a freaking cat. Okay, whatever. Let's get Arvac back. I need my ride. Catch a ride. How long is it taking us to even get here? I mean, come on. Oh man, it's just this, this place is so big. It's kind of annoying. Oh wait, it's up there, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is up there, I think. Unless the entrance is down here. Let me see. Ooh, well, that's not going to be good. <laughs> okay, well that worked out. Well, I guess the entrance is down here. Sweet. Okay, so we are in the second Dwemia Ruin of the game. They're all... Oh, I didn't even see that there. <clears throat> They're all fairly big. But this one especially is just... Giant. Oh, I did not mean to shoot you, Serana. Now, these are Dwarven Spider Workers. I don't think we saw them. No, we didn't see these last time. There are a few Dwarven... Or Dwemia machinations that are still... Functioning. This is one of them. One kind of them, at least. Can I get my arrow back? Thank you. <laughs> Just kind of trailing that for a second. So they sometimes have soul gems. They have those gyros there. Uh, scrap metal. Oil. They've got specific Dwemir loot on them. But it's always good to sneak around here because they like to hide in... There's this thing that they have in here that reminds me of Bioshock. Because it looks like that little thing that the little sisters crawl into you. Once you save them, I'll show you once we see one. There's a button. Yeah, there's a lot of traps here too, so watch out for that. Watch, ooh, Dwarven Arrow. Take it. Just one? <laughs> really? Okay. Spell Town, less reward? Oh, wow. Okay, well, you get that from someone else anyway, but I mean, as long as we're here. Oh, I already know less reward. Alright. Fact that, Gooby. Oop, I don't know what I just picked up. But, uh, I think it might have been a little heavy. Well, I don't need that. Oh, well, I guess I can hold on to it. Keep it for later. Goblet. Is that what I just picked up? Because I don't want that. Is it? No, I picked up the ruined book. Okay. Right, so, let's go on. Oh, I thought that would be unlock the door. Wait, what? They have some minor puzzles in here as well. Oh, chest. Minor puzzles, not really. I right, and like the uh, the one at the end I was telling you guys about. I've also been watching Breaking Bad again. I got back to that. It's been intense. I'm glad I got back to it. It's, oh man, crazy. I hate Walt even more now. <laughs> I like Skylar less now because I got over my my thing for her, and now she's just kind of. I don't know. She's. A little indecisive. A little bit. Maybe I'm not supposed to go through there. Why am I not running? Oh, my room cat is still crouching. Oh, am, am, is this... Oh, you know what? I think there is actually a different entrance that we're supposed to go through. Yeah, okay. Be right back. I thought that might be the case, but I, I hoped not. There's probably actually another better entrance up there that we have to go through instead of this one. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Track the arrow there. 
critical strike on Wolf, just waiting to ambush us. Sneak increase to 52, alright. Another one? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, anyway. Breaking Bad's been getting intense. There's something that happens in the penultimate episode of, ep of Season 2. Something that Walt does regarding... Uh, I can't even spoil it for people that want to watch it, but... It's just something that he does that, that, like... If you didn't already think of him as a terrible, terrible person... Well then... You do now... Oh man, it was just so bad and disgusting and oh, you all know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. It's just oh man. Now I've heard because I'm how um, how far am I? I think I'm like four four episodes from the end of season three now. And I've heard that by the end of season four, you hate him even more, which I don't know how that's possible for me because I do not like him. But, uh, ooh, I want to kill that over there. I want to kill that. Oh, it already sees me. Okay. But yeah, it's just surprising how terrible of a person he is. He's so bad, man. So bad. I guess I was stunning that thing over and over again. Though that was an Ice Wraith, they are just basically Ice Spirits. And they drop Ice Wraith Essences and Ice Wraith Teeth. Which are... Alchemical ingredients, which I will take. I'm just gonna freaking favorite that spell so I can summon him when the need arises quickly without having to go in the menu. Well, so here's a dragon burial ground up there. We could go up there, but I'll pass for now. For now, I actually read that there is a heavy armor book somewhere in here. I don't know where it would be, but we've now officially discovered the ruins because. Even though we were inside of them before, that didn't count. Now, is it west of the war tower or something like that? On a table, here's an adept chest. Let's pick it. Nope, I was clumsy with that. Oh, no. Almost, is it a little in between here? No, oh shit, I. See, this is why I do my tappy thing, because you'll get to the end and you'll be like, Hey, I totally got it, but then it'll be that little last sliver. You don't get it, and then you just get a broken lock. You know what I mean? I'm talking gibberish here. But I'm making sense in my own head. I don't really care about that. Expedition manifest. If you want to read, go ahead and pause. Oh, that was pretty quick, but I don't really, I don't really care about reading that. So... Who's that? You desperately hold on to the warmth of your last victim's blood. Does it matter right now? I mean, we're kind of... Look at that. We're kind of... Oh, there's an arrow down there. Is that the proper entrance? I suppose it is. So what about... Oh, that's probably the exit over there. Yeah. No, forgot he makes that hurt noise when he disappears. So I suppose our entrance is going to be down here. There it is. So the heavy armor book might be... Oh, no, that's where we... Oh, shit, don't don't fall off, please. I guess that's where we were before, so let's go through here now. Yeah, so this, end up, this might end up being a little longer than I had hoped, because this is a big place. I mean, you can see, this isn't even Black Rage yet. This is... Uh, mm, what's it called? Al Alftand? Alftand? Whatever that one. This isn't even Black Reach yet. Oh, journal. Sweet. Gonna read. Go for it. Okay. I probably could have read that one, but I honestly don't feel like wasting the time on that. Now, I am sneaky because you never know what kind of stuff you'll run into in places like these with dead people all around. And is this a book? Under I can't. Yeah, it is a book. Uh, Ancient Tales of the Dwemir. Okay. If you want to see the history, go for it. They're just so long and I never cared about reading these, you know? Personally. I guess they're talking about golems or something. Golems. Whatever you want to pronounce that. That'll be 
kind of, well, it's not even important to know. Let's see, I feel like we'll run into a troll soon. It's generally the kind of stuff you find in the ice caves here, but we could also run into some Dwemer stuff. I heard talking. So I didn't pass right by them, did I? Is there an area that I can go through here? I don't think so. No. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wow. Nice hiding sp Oh, it's probably... I heard them through there. Okay. Well, then, let's take out our bow, because we're going to have to fight some peoples, I'm sure. I think I remember who these who that person was that was talking there. I think. Are we going to pass right by him? Or going to wrap around? I don't know. Whatever. But you can see it's just very steampunky in these ruins. And I like that. It's, you, know, you got the metal machines in the olden times. And the steam pipes. And the brokenness. It's cool. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Hmm. McCrory! Ugh! Can't even. I just woke up not too long ago, so I can't really do voices right now. But research notes. I don't really care about that. Petty soul gem. Dwarves V2. I mean, there's transcripts of all these books online. If you wanna, you know, go ahead and check those out if you care that much. Cause I don't. I don't really. Ooh, hello. Look at that sneak ability. I was right next to him and he didn't detect me. That's pretty good. Archery 54 too. Always nice. So we're over halfway there to level 100. Which is cool. Because once we get to level 100, we'll get that awesome skill at the top of the tree. Now let me come up here. This is probably where the uh, dude talking was. Is this... Oh shit, that was active. I didn't even notice. I thought it was a... a corpse or something but nope well, that's weird if that was active how'd they how these people get through here I don't understand because I heard I heard a Khajiit over here <coughs> oh garnet okay so this is the other side of where we were before okay it's kind of where we heard the Khajiit talking too so What's going on, man? Oh, shit. I told you, they just like to pop out. They do. I don't really even feel like looting you. There's a torch in the ground. That's It's lit, too, so... Someone probably dropped that. Who is this, brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? This one was in touch with us. No. You must be the one who took my scoop. Who are you? How do you know I'm here, hmm? sir? I knew I heard I don't even know how you know I'm here, but whatever. You're about to be dead. There you go. So he was a. Oh, we can feed on him. Right, let's do that. I forgot we can feed on people that are recently dead. I don't know if I just did. Because it didn't do an animation. Sigh. We'll take that. We'll take that. Okay. Oh, I'm almost over encumbered now. That ain't good. Take that. Eight, oh, now I'm over encumbered. Well, let's drop some stuff. Let's drop some stuff. I have 22 gardens, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, wow. A bowl? Why do I have a bowl? Yeah, that should free me up. Oh, did she just resurrect him? Yeah, she did. Serranus Jazar. <laughs> that just sounds silly to me. Oh, I got over and covered again. No. Um. Suppose. Why well, don't I even have that one? I don't I don't need that. Oh man. Oh man, there's a pickaxe. I didn't mean to go in third person there. I hope I went the right the right way there, because there's a branch back there. But that guy was down here because he was a scoom addict and he likes hiding away and stuff. Here's a journal. <laughs> That's probably the journal of the dude that we just or the not the dude that we just killed, but the dude next to the dude we just killed. Okay. So that's a lot of pottery around. <laughs> He's just... Oh, man. Okay, that's a, that's the thing right there I was talking about. That reminds me of Bioshock. Nope! 
How can Serana let me get my sneak attacks? You bitch. Okay, there's one at least. Now these are Dwarven Spears. They're a lot more difficult than the Dwarven Spiders, but at the combat level that we're on right now, it's still not that big of a deal. They usually drop better stuff too. Oh, they drop bolts? Wow. Didn't realize that they did that once you installed the Dawn Guard. I need to drop one of these weapons. Like this, so I don't need this. Drop that. Okay. What else we got? Ash Pile. Oh, from Jazar, of course. Yeah, doesn't this look like the little thing the little sisters crawl into? Totally does. Totally does. I have no idea what the reason for that thing is. But it's probably a trap, too. I think. Now, there's a quest where someone asks you to get cogs and pans and stuff, but I don't even remember who gives you that quest, and it's not worth the wait until you actually get it. It's not that important of a quest. Oh, it's it's the dude at, at the College of Winterhold, I think. And the reward is really crappy. So I... I don't know if I'll be doing that one. I don't know, I don't know if I'll be doing every single quest. I'll be doing all the good ones for sure, but some of them are just kind of tedious and the rewards aren't very good and it's not worth it sometimes. Not worth it sometimes. Okay, so we'll keep on sneaking here. I need that roll soon. I know I passed it up last time because I went for some archery thingy. But, you know, guys gotta sneak. Guys gotta shoot. Okay, no. And sweet. Alright, so we got a chest. Two locked chests, in fact. Let's see. Okay. Oop, no. Ooh, did I get it? There we go. I was just being cautious there. So we got money, magicka, and conjure storm atronach. Okay. I don't know if we can make a, a spell book with that scroll. I don't think we can. I think it takes void salts or something. Ow. Why did I say ow? That didn't hurt. It was just heartbreaking to see my lock pick break. Uh, nope. There it is. Cool. What do you have? Stamina, stamina. And I'm over and covered again. Cool. Didn't we just go through this? God damn. This is why I put, I put points into stamina, because... Just what was this? Cicero's journal, Brothers of Darkness. Um, let's drop something like mm, the Woodcutter's Wife. Let's drop that. <laughs> I don't know why I have that one. But let's keep on moving. Here's a door. What the hell are you fighting? Something? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh you. Critical strike. Yes. <laughs> I love shooting this bow it's just so easy you know it's compared to freaking well splinter cells are very hard well it's compared to other things there's just some stealth games out there that I am not good at it's nice to to be good at stealth for once even though it's just because the stealth is quite toned down if you get what I'm saying here you get what I'm saying? I also am going to drop this because bolts aren't that common, unfortunately. And uh, I can just pick one up off of a Dawn Guard member later if I want one. As cool as it is, some people are going to hate me for not using the crossbow. You know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not the time. So I'm going to unlock this one here. And that staircase down that I was looking at before, I actually recognize that that is part of the exit that activates once you get to the end of this area. You That's a sphere. No, Serana, god damn it. You need to not do that anymore. Ever. Jesus. Like, it's not worth having that extra damage. Although, it did help when I was fighting the saber tooth thing. But that's that's... Apples and oranges. Is that the right expression I'm looking for? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just reaching in the dark. 
<sighs> Help. If you guys haven't seen the um, College Humor Batman video, it's like Batman versus the Riddler or something, you should go watch it because it is quite funny. I can see how someone might think it's kind of stupid, but I don't know, I found it pretty funny. Blacksmith's Garage, I don't even care, those are just common. It's just so funny though. Is it helicopter? It's just his face, because you know how if you've seen the Batman movies, the recent ones, Christian Bale kind of makes a silly voice when he's Batman. And he, he kind of puckers his lips too, if you notice. And I can't see a damn thing right now. Oh, okay. I see. I have to jump over this. Anyway, he kind of kind of puckers his lips. Oh, I thought that was a uh, sphere. But it's just really funny to see someone making fun of that. And there's a spider over there. Okay. Jeez, these guys are just no threat to me whatsoever. Now, there is... Wait, is there something? Did I pass right by one? Okay. Anyway, there's still one more Dweebier machination that can pose a threat. But it's kind of the boss's, or the boss of the area. So we won't have to worry about him for a while. Now, is this a new area here? Yeah. Alright, I'm actually going to end it right here because, like I said before, this place is huge. And we're going to continue on next time with, what's this quest called? Discerning the Transmundane, yes. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed.